Welcome back everybody, we're back on the live stream and today we're taking a look at Sky Wanderers, this game I've been checking out for a couple of months. Left it alone for a little while just to let them get on with things but sessioned it over the New Year's week between Christmas and January and uh, put together this little build here in about 10 days time as a little challenge. So I'm going to give you a little guided tour, I'm going to take a little walk around. This is 1 to 4 scale. So it's not a full-size Star Destroyer. There are people in the Sky Wanderers community who are working on full-scale uh, versions, but obviously they take a lot, a lot longer to put together. Mine is a bit more like a theme park ride, like when you go to Universal Studios and you get the experience. So it's not really 100% accurate. But uh, like I say, let's take a little look. So right here we have the Imperial Star Destroyer. Like I say, it's one to four, so it's only 400 meters long um, or just shy of 400 meters like I say it took us 10 days to put together um, it got a lot of attention on Imgur while I was putting it together because every day I would put up an, at an image gallery of the build progress so <clears throat> it started off as just a shell and then when I came to doing the interior I decided to put in like a, a best of type thing so uh, just, to, just to sort of give it a feel, what we're going to do is we're going to go inside in a minute, have a little look around, uh, but we're just going to continue moving around the uh, exterior so you can get a good look of what we're looking at here. So there's the Griebling's done throughout. Um, I don't remember exactly which version this is. I made a whole bunch of them. Um, obviously every time I'd add a bit to it I'd save it and it has been about three months since I looked at the ship so yeah um, I'll show you pretty much how we put it together before we finish and then we'll take it for a little fly if you hear any weird noises in the background that's just my dog and she's having a great time so uh, yeah we're gonna go in through the hangar so let's just go under the ship and have a look. So if we come under here we have the hangar bay and if we come into the hangar bay we have a forward section which I haven't done the thing with. If we just sneak a peek through here you can see the hollowness. Now if I can remember was it L? There we go. It's been a while since I've uh, picked, up, picked up and had a look but they've done a lot of work to the game so I want to come and have another little look at what they've done. So here we are slow it down a bit so let's go into the main hangar area so obviously I've taken a lot of the uh, interiors are taken from scenes in the movie and I've done my best to replicate them but it was all done inside a 10 day build challenge so this is part of the CCTV system so you can see what's in the hangar from the bridge and like I say that's the hangar very simple stuff this corridor is actually taken from The Force Awakens, so it's not actually from a an old, you know, classical uh, Star Destroyer. But just to give you an idea, uh, these the detail here is actually quite hard to do. These vertical pieces that go diagonal, there's a bit of a trick to making them follow the edge there. Oh, suddenly we got look, no lights that way, but we got lights that way. That's that's that's, that's a bit of a that's a new bug I've not seen. I was wondering why it was so dark as we were coming down here, but if I turn around, it's um, it's lit as it should be. So, bing, there we go. Bright light. It's funny. Lights on. Lights off. Lights on. Anyway. So if we come down to here, we have. Uh, let's just turn the UI on. So what we have here is we have the buttons, and are the buttons still labelled? Yeah, only on this side though. So first of all, how do we open a door? So I'm guessing the green button to open the door, yep. Yeah. Nice sliding doors there. And then it's red to call the lift. Now where's the lift? Oh, here it comes. But it's really slow because they've obviously fixed the bug I was using a bug which meant that the lifts would speed up and I think that's now been fixed so just give it a second and the uh, lift will be here god that lighting bugs weird I hope they know about that 
So yeah, like I say, um, going for like a Star Wars style interior on the Star Destroyer here. And if we just go, yeah, let's just let's just go up, shall we? Right, I made a little thing for this. If I do that, it'll actually fold the platform down, allowing me to fly up and down the corridor. That lighting bug is really weird. That's a new one as well. It didn't used to do that either. It's clipping through. Right. So, do that, and then we get our floor back. And let's see, is it still calling to the right level at least? Oh, good. At least that still works. Right. So, we're currently on floor five. Nope, floor five is one more down. So, let's check out floor five, and then we'll head our, head our way back up. Okay, here we are, we've got a nice door, open that, and this would be the engineering section, so again, this is taken from another style of Star Wars corridor, we're going to go down the end here, and uh, I tried to do this, you've seen this pattern in Star Wars, it's not exactly right, it doesn't have the circles, they're all oblong, but it's the closest thing I could find to it, and here, these are like the, uh, based off of the shield generators that Obi-Wan disables in the, uh, uh, Star uh, Death Star. Um, <clears throat> again, not a thing that was on the Star Destroyers, but I figured if the Star Destroyers have a shield and going off the theory that the Imperials used standardization for most of their ships, so the idea is that a lot of the interior sections would have been the same regardless of the class of the ship. They just would have been more sections or larger sections. So we've just got some random little panels and lights just to sort of make it look a bit more interesting the lights gone again and we got two of these on each side now just to show you how this was built i've left a button in okay so now we can see how this was built so if i come around behind it can we have the light please there we go so we've got that's the central section there's the wiring that sets all of the all of the pieces to the correct angle and then up here if we go all the way up you can see there's a whole bunch of pipes coming off and it just basically creates this pattern so you see it goes into a nice circle it's pretty much the same way i made the engines so let's just go back now blimey it's so cut so dark i want to go backwards so you can actually see what we've done <laughs> that wasn't in the previous build when i when i put this together so that's a new one okay so there it is so, I'll close that now. Oh yeah, that's a point. Just if we watch, see the, the vents are actually kicking out some smoke. That's another little thing you can do in this game, which is pretty cool. So let's go up to level three and take a look at level three. Um, oh, no, don't do that. So here I am, wondering why the lighting bugs are, we'll explain that in a little minute. There's a little tunnel there, which, uh, it's a secret. Again, more evidence of something. Okay, so this next one, the door's already open, so that's a bit, uh, that's a bit revealing. You can tell what that's gonna be. So this is the detention section. If I open this up again, I was supposed to be closed. Then what we'll find is a call button, which uh, brings the lift to this level, and then a door button to close the door. So this is obviously the detention section from the Death Star. Again, the reason I used the Death Star is, again, that whole idea of standardization. So none of these actually open up. They should be doors, but... I never actually got the time to turn them all into doors with rooms when, like I say, it was a 10 day challenge. So I did as much as I could, but I did do one thing which you might like. So I was gonna have a, like a little section at the end here for like the, uh, that little checkpoint room um, and uh, the officers. But yeah, one thing I did do was the garbage chute. So if we just close that, that's how it should look. So you can't, you know, you can see there's something there, but it's not obvious what it is. Hit the button, and it 
opens out. Now if we go down here, we have the trash compactor. Okay. And it doesn't just trigger on its own, but if I come to the end of the trash compactor, wait a minute, something's not right. Ha! Huh. Well, it looks like this one doesn't have the door. Well, that is weird. There should be a door in these. Obviously, they move because look, there's something sticking through. So, what's that? So, we've got some weird bugs going. On. But basically, this room used to compress, it used to compact in to leave just the one block down the middle. But it looks like. Oh, I wanted to show you that. Let's see, so if it's that way, then that means that the end should be behind here. Ha! Huh. Something's gone wrong with the pistons in here, I think. I think this wall is in and this wall is out. So let's just have a look, see here. So if I just go in here, what have we got? Oh! Ah, I see what happened. Right, so what happened there, guys? There we go, there's the trash compactor opens. I was, it was already closed, so I came down outside the wall. So it's not broken, actually. For a minute there, I thought I had the wrong version of the ship, but nope. So if we come down here, with the lighting on, you can see there's the trash compactor. And if I turn it, as you can see, it's compacting us. But it stops at one square, just like at one cube. Just like in the movie, thanks to 3PO. So off we go. Again, this is why I have this feature. Every lift, lift needs a trap door. So we'll go through here. Right. So we've done level three, that was the detention center. Level two is really quick. And again, it's a little bit of fun. Let's close that door. Okay. So here we are, next level. So, originally this was going to be an officer's area, but didn't have time, so I just quickly shoved in Darth Vader's little chamber, or at least I tried to. Um, I would have liked to make it a little bit rounder, um, but the main features were that it closed itself down and that the, the, the seat swivels. So if I get in this... If I get in this and I hit this button, it will turn me round. So I'm looking at the, at the main uh, view screen. So let's see, close it and turn it. And then down comes the screen. And if I press uh, F on that, that'll control. Nope, can't move it. <laughs> that should control the security camera, but it doesn't. So that's fine. So let's just turn around again. Did I do it for this one? No. They're not hooked up to anything. Okay. And with that, we get out. So that's a very quick one. Um, I just wanted to make something that look a little bit like his little recharge pod. And again, it's made with the circles, just like downstairs. Hinges. You can see them clipping here, so that gives you an idea of how it's put together. I'm not going to unfold this one. pretty much that is that is what that is I didn't have much room to play with so that's what we did with it but yeah pretty cool so close this door now and head to the final room which is the bridge so up we go quite a ways to go I had plenty of room to put in or as you can see I could have put an extra room in not on every floor but on almost every floor so I just opted for tall ceilings so now we have, looking at the lower part of the bridge, all of the gunnery positions and the teleporters, which of course are Sky Wanderer's content. So we're going to open this up. Now, when I built this, um, it was built around the time of the engine update. And um, it came out, a lot. I did this around, I think, 
I think The Last Jedi may have just come out. I can't remember if it was just the trailer. Because um, it was like December, just coming up on January. But anyway, so we're going to come down here and have a little look underneath. So we've got some logic, which uh, does a bunch of stuff. We've got the sliding. That's for the actual, uh, for the lift, for the lift spine now. Uh, teleporters are useful because you can just walk back whenever you need to. Uh, we actually have, this is the reactor control station, so by hitting these buttons you can turn on and off all the auxiliary reactors on the ship, which is quite useful. Um, apparently the part of the game is going to be balancing power. If I go into uh, one of these, it'll put me in control of, he says, hmm, do we have to rebind all of these now? they're not moving anymore. Hmm. Maybe just double check I'm not hitting the wrong. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like I might need to re-hook up the turrets. That's annoying. I didn't know they'd been changed. But then that's the normal thing for games that are uh, early development. Yeah, look at that. See, I'm in the turret, but I can't move it. That's okay, I've got another way of doing it, maybe. I think they changed all of the hotkey systems for binding weapons. So that's probably why that doesn't work. So before we get into uh, the pilot seat and take this thing for a fly, let's just take a look outside. Again, all of these reactors, I put them all up here just because it was a new feature and it was really easy to do. So if I hit this button, um, it'll actually turn off the reactor, which is all those buttons do uh, down here, that's all they do. They're hooked up to these switches, the switches are hooked up to the reactors, and that's that. So I did make a secret way out to save you time. This is sort of like the beginnings of the basic airlock. Okay. Now, coming out here, we can see a little bit more detail. You can see that it's actually really quite small, but right. Let's take a look at this. I made this sort of chase drone for two reasons. One, I mean, it's part of the main ship, just built slightly off grid. Um, and it's attached using the weapon system that was working at the time to this gimbal and these turrets. Because like I say, all these turrets were functional and they all fire off, um, like I say, a gunnery position that's looking to the right. So the idea is, like I say, each one of these will fire, um, and these are on a three, uh, two, two axis gimbal, pitch and yaw. So let's see if this still works. I bet it doesn't because it uses the same wiring as the controls up in the bridge. So let's just have a look at that. Yeah, they're not moved. They're not working. I think the turret controller has been upgraded. So I think there may may have been a turret controller here, but um, I'll investigate that. So that's no big deal. They've made a lot of improvements to the game, so having to go back and reconfigure things is normal. I mean, I wouldn't have been surprised if the whole ship hadn't loaded in, to be honest. Um, that's just a fact. So with that being said, let's go take it for a little fly. So. I come in here. There is actually a completely new flight system since I made this in just three months. The amount of work that's been done to this game is pretty impressive, I've got to say. So let's just come back into the bridge and get on this. Okay, and we've got the stats right there. Uh, right, so. Let's get the hug back, shall we? <laughs> okay. Now, it used to be that you would press left alt and that would switch you between the parking sort of position and the, uh, like, maneuvering. And then obviously you'd hit that button a third time and you could go into hyperspace. So, um, like I say, it's been a bit of a surprise what actually happens You'll, you'll, yeah, you'll see. Basically, what you do now is a bit different. Um, you start to accelerate, but you only get three meters per second. 
Uh, Q and E is now turn, so that's fine. We've got beautiful trails now. Um, you can't really see them yet, but uh, you can just about see them popping in there because I'm just twisting. But I'm not really moving very far at the moment. So you got to hold down Alt and um, oh yeah, and not be in the tab menu. I think it was old. Lol. Ah! <laughs> he says with absolute confidence. Hmm. Well, it worked earlier. They said. Hmm. So now I've just got to figure this out because I could have sworn. No, that's not how we do things. And unfortunately, as it is in development, if I go into bindings, it's not going to help me. See, switch drive is left alt. So, uh, hmm. Maneuver, maneuver, maneuver. Hot keys. super annoying like um, it worked fine well like I say it's an alpha game so you can't really expect much um, come on guys hmm. like not got enough power or something power total 42,000 33% balance 1% looks good to me hmm Well, that's annoying. I mean, I moved the ship. To look, okay. Just now. Just now. I moved the ship from the ring to here. So why it won't work now, I have absolutely no idea. Hmm. It don't move. Right. Do you know what? I'm just going to go and ask their Discord because this is silly, right? Silly, 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 silly Sky Wanderers. Why? What? What? Right. I'm going to just ask the learned people in the Sky Wanderers Discord. There will be a link in the description. It's a really cool Discord if you like playing the game. Um, there's a lot of really cool builders on there, and they'd love to see your builds. So I'm going to ask them now. How do you? Move, yeah. How does move ship? Left alt, no working. Any tips? <laughs> yeah, because like I say, this is always the sort of thing that happens in a live stream. You're trying to show off the game, show it in the best light, you know, because it deserves to be shown off in the best light. And um, <laughs> the ships don't fly. And they do fly, all right? They fly really nicely, and uh, it actually jumps pretty pretty well. So why it's not working is beyond me. Uh, let's see if we can't... Uh, I wonder if anyone's... Nope, nothing. Well, I don't know what to tell you. 
Maybe I've got to restart the game? Seems a little bit like overkill. See, we're moving. Hmm. Maybe they've... No, because I did. I, I flew it earlier and it was fine. funny thing is about live stream highlights you can't actually cut any of this out so this looks great um, hmm. yeah about that about actually flying it you know still no response from the guys oh well what are you gonna do there's nothing in the UI that's telling me what to do Is it delinked? No, it hasn't, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to do this. It just says locked. It's locked. Right, okay. Aha! No idea. There it 
is. Stay abreast of it slightly. Okay, in we come. And then I gotta hit alt when I get close to it, I think. Right moment. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I drop out? Hello? Where's, where's the moon? Where's the moon? I'm doing an Elite Dangerous now. Can we, like, slow the shit down, please? Ah, there it is. Whoa, engines. Whoa. <laughs> Those trails are something special. Okay. Boom. And then... Nice. So, like I say, at the moment you can't land on the planets. Um... But there are quite a few different ones in the solar system, so you can go and check them all out. I'm glad I got the uh, got the ship to actually move again in the end. <laughs> because that was weird. Like, it moved just now. I, just, I must have been pushing both buttons at once. Didn't realise. So, yeah. There's another planet which is a bit like a lava planet. Don't worry. My engines are being completely quiet now. That's free. off. Um, and like I say, uh, you can post your builds 
in the showcase section on the official Skyward Wanderers Discord. So like I said, I'm going to put the link in the description for that. Blimey, we're not going very fast. To think that we were somewhere over there, somewhere. How far out can we zoom? That far. Pretty. Game's being coded, as far as I know, by a one-man dev. Um, and, like I say, he's done an amazing job. Keeps on adding loads of cool features. Recently, they put sh uh, shields in the game. bunch of other cool things like the new flight model which we've been seeing today even though I'm derping out because I'm not used to it yet uh, and also these orbital rings that are going to help you find the planet and I expect the uh, the actual ring which is where you would uh, where you start off there's like a you know like a like a halo ring uh, Dyson ring so yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. I just wanted to show you the uh, the ship. So I know. I'm gonna jump out of the pilot seat. Okay, there we go. Right, so we're still moving at speed. We are doing. That's wrong. This is 224 kph. Well, maybe it's right. I don't know. That's how fast we're going. And uh, soon we'll be coming past the sun. So. Let's get the lift out of the way. It's nice because I'm not falling out of the ship or anything, which is very nice. So let's, let's head down. lost it. <laughs> it had to happen eventually. That's okay. I can spoil another one. I wonder where it went. Uh, oh well. So anyway guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. If you'd like to check out the uh, build, which I just showed you, um, it's actually in the showcase section on the Sky Wanderers Discord. So there's a download there for you. If you'd like to download the Star Destroyer and check it out, I'm sure there's plenty of other more interesting builds and more detailed builds in that same section. So if you've got Sky Wanderers now and you want to see what people have built with it, uh, definitely that's the way to go. Look at that sun. I swear that's prettier than the last time I looked at it. It's got beautiful flares. Okay, so let's just zoom out a bit and see what's going on with these rings. So we've got one, two, Three, four, oh my goodness, there was like planets, moons on every ring. Okay, so here we go. Whoa. Let's just take a look. So, whoa, okay, so that's the first one. An Earth-like planet. Okay, and then the second one is where we started off the video. I don't know why my ship's still being noisy. Okay, so there we go, bugs. And this should show me where the, well, there is actually a ring world in orbit here somewhere. Is that it? There it is. See that? Whoa. There we go. Turn the speed down. Turn the speed down. Right. Now this is one of the funny things about this game. 
If I just go closer, 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 and now we're on a grid. So if I show you a mountain, you can see what I mean. There we go. Here's what you're used to if you play the voxel games. God, that Star Destroyer is noisy. It's over by the sun. I can still hear it. So there we go. Uh, right, so if I look at the sun and go faster. Oh, that's a point. The belt. Look at that. Whoop. Actual, well, actual asteroids. If I was going a bit slower, it wouldn't be so nuts. But yeah, there you go. The disc is actually full of little voxel asteroids. So, if that is the sun and that is the orbit, we need to look at the next one. So, let's zoom out and see if we can't find something. Ah, there we go. There's something on that line. It's another Earth like, but this one's a little bit different. Looks a bit more, I don't know. It's different, basically. Very detailed as well. So let's see. I, you know, I only knew of a couple of planets, so unless he's completely overhauled it, which I think he has. So now we've got to look on the next line. Yep, there's one. Whoa, too far. And oh, we got another Earth like. It looks like the same one at the moment, but uh, they're likely to be more unique as the game gets finished. Okay. There was actually a procedural universe for a while, but I think it's been disabled while they're working the bugs out, which is appreciated. Yep, it's the same planet again. star systems <laughs> okay so that's pretty much all I've got time for and all I've got to show you I did bug out my ship in the end but hey these things happen so thanks for watching um, be sure to check out the uh, Sky Wanderers discord if you get a chance there will be a link in the description as I say had a lot of fun trying to get the ship to actually move, but like I say, it's been three months since I checked it out, so we got it moving in the end. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.